What's going on guys? Welcome to yet another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the best chapatis ever. Intro. For this you will need 3 cups of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil, water, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and a rolling pin. You're going to start by adding in the flour, salt and oil and mix well together. Add room temperature water until it's neither too soft nor too hard. If you don't need the dough well, the gluten which causes the dough to rise will not be activated and the dough will lack the strength to rise which will result into a flat and dense chapati. A good way to test this is by poking it with your finger. If it springs back, it's ready. And another way you can tell that it is ready is that you will feel it is soft and silky in texture. Make it into a ball shape like this and add in oil on the surface so it doesn't lose moisture and dry up. Cover for at least 20 minutes. You are going to divide the chapati into handful sized portions just as I am doing. And now I am going to show you the different types of folding so as to ensure you have a nice layered round chapati. With layering the chapati you have so many ways you can do it. The first method is roll out the dough, apply oil and sprinkle some flour. Cut it from the middle to any edge and roll it as I have done here into a cone shaped structure and press it from the top of the cone to the bottom into a flat disc. Method 2. Roll the dough out, apply oil and sprinkle some flour and fold it as I am doing here. Roll it and then just tuck it in. Method 3. Roll the dough out, apply oil and sprinkle some flour. Roll it inside itself to make a rope-like structure. Twist it back and forth and roll it in itself and press. Basically, you can roll this into whatever shape you like. Square, hexagon, triangle, but a true Kenyan chapati is round in shape. And many boast the fact that they can make a perfectly round chapati. You're going to let the dough sit for at least 10 minutes as you prepare some oil in a bowl and get in your griddle hot. Roll out your chapati and cook it with the oil, applying oil on each turn. This is one of the key secrets to getting a soft chapati. Look how the rice is so beautifully. If your pan is too hot, your chapatis will burn before they cook. Also, if the fire is not hot enough, your chapatis will stay on the heat longer and they will be harder in texture. There we have it, a quick and easy recipe to ensure you have soft and layered chapati. Comment down below what kind of dish you would like to eat this with. I know my favorite is beef stew or a nice chicken stew. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. And I hope you will make this recipe so you can enjoy this nice, soft and layered chapatis. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.